Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you the best control panel setting for NVIDIA uh, if you're playing Warzone 2, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, even DMZ. And you will see it's pretty easy. So make sure that you restore, first of all, your uh, 3D setting. You want to use the default one and click Manage 3D Setting. The first parameter that we'll need to look at is your low latency mode. Super important to use on. Don't go too crazy with this one. Don't use Ultra also, it was causing some random stuttering for me, so super important to use this one at global setting, it will be applied to your other game. The other one is your max frame rate, this one, uh, it's a bit tricky, if you don't have any issue with your thermal, just go with off, you want the most of FPS from your computer, more FPS equal less input lag, but for an example, you have a 60 hertz, 60 hertz monitor and you have some thermal issue in your computer, don't go too crazy with uh, your FPS because you can cause like throttling on your CPU and GPU and you will have a lot of start stuttering in your game. So you don't want to go too crazy with that. Look at your thermals first before unlocking your FPS and you can also just lock it like at 60 uh, with the NVIDIA software over there. Another one that I see a lot of people are seeing different stuff, it's the power management mode. Make sure that you're running normal, don't go with maximum performance. I did a couple of tests with Warzone and this one was a lot better on my 4090. So super important to use this one. Uh, for the rest of it, just use default, anyway you will change it inside of the game. The second parameter that uh, I'm not too sure if you guys can see it, if you have like an RTX 2000 series or 3000 series, uh, I'm pretty sure it's brand new with the update, but maybe it's just for the 4090. It's the ECC state. You don't want to use that. It will slow down your VRAM, so super important to uncheck it. The other parameters is your resolution. Make sure that you're playing native, first of all. So if you have a 1080p monitor, just go with 1080p. If you have a 2K monitor, go with 2K. But the one that is very important is your refresh rate. I know a lot of my friends bought like a 140 or 44 hertz monitor. They were playing like 60 and it didn't even know. So super important, if you have like a 240 uh, hertz monitor, you should see 240 over there. So super important to uh, change it manually if you don't see it. For the desktop color setting, I really like to uh, modify my digital vibrance. It's a lot better when you're playing the game. You can see enemy better. By default, it will be at 50%. But again, it's question of preference. It's question also of your monitor. Uh, maybe start at 55, do some testing. Uh, if you like it, just go a little bit higher like I did with the 60%. And if you don't like it, you can just stay at 50. But you will see that the game is a little bit gray. And uh, digital vibrance help a lot uh, with with color and the vibrancy of your game so i recommend to uh definitely use 60. the last parameter is your g-sync so me i don't use g-sync and i will explain why the thing is when you're using g-sync you need to be in your range so my monitor is a 170 hertz uh monitor but the thing is i can render easily 190 200 200 uh, 20 uh, FPS in Warzone so technically I'm higher than my G-Sync range so I just want the maximum FPS to lower my input lag so that's why I'm not using the G-Sync but if for example you have a 144 uh, Hertz monitor and you always uh, between 100 and 120 FPS in your game for sure you can use G-Sync uh, it will um, help with Tiering, you will not have any tiering when you will play the game. So it makes sure that your monitor and your G and your GPU will sync together. Uh, so it's a very good, uh, honestly, option. But the thing is, if you can render more than your uh, maximum amount of hertz of your monitor, I recommend to on it to to just deactivate it and just run the maximum FPS on your computer. So this is pretty much it guys, my uh, NVIDIA control panel best setting for Warzone. If you have any question, just come in, in the YouTube section, post me your monitor, CPU, GPU and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.